Hello and welcome to another edition of the Avid Screencast. My name is Christian Förster and this week we'll continue building our animated video play bar in Marquee. Last week we created the background layer and in this episode we'll create some more elements and then animate them. So let's get back into Marquee. And everything we're gonna do now is highlight the play bar here and change the color to our red. This is gonna be our progress bar. And you know, this is all we need to do. We're done here. All we need to do now is uh, delete all the other things from a project so that the only thing we have is the red play bar. And again, save this to a bin. And now the last thing we need to do is create a little play bar button. And for this surprise, surprise, again, we need our, a circle. And again, hold down the shift key to draw a perfect circle here. And this is the circle, looks nice. I'll position it so that it's just on top of our play bar. Uh, maybe a bit more up, mm, maybe a bit more down. So let's just zoom in. Then we can have a little more fine control. That looks pretty decent. And well, this looks a little dull, doesn't it? So let's uh, again work with a gradient here. And this time we're, you, we'll use this uh, circle gradient. Oh, and it would be handy to select the uh, object we're working with before we do this. So again, enable the gradient, the circle gradient. This is the wrong way. So again, click the circle gradient button and it will invert the gradient. And that doesn't look too bad. Um, I don't want this uh, play button to be all white. So let's make it a little gray. And I don't want uh, as much of a gradient actually. So let's just change the gradient so that it looks more like a circle within a circle. This is pretty okay. Again, I'll use a little drop shadow here to give it a more 3D-ish look. And again, uh, all we want to save now is the circle. So let's just delete this uh, progress bar and save this thingy to a bin. And now we're pretty much done uh, with uh, Marquee. I'll make this play bar 10 seconds long. Right now anyway, I'll make it 10 seconds long. We can change the duration later in any way we, we want. So there's 10 seconds of the background and then we'll have the progress bar on top of it. And last but not least, the little play button. Okay, now this looks a little static. There's nothing going on here. And now all we need to do is animate and animating this thing is incredibly easy. <laughs> and all we, we, we need to do is animate the, the, the title key. So let's do this for the red progress bar first. Go into effect editor. Go to the first frame and add a keyframe to, whoa, I actually didn't want to add a keyframe to the crop parameters. So I'll uh, have, make this uh, add to open groups and I'll open just the crop group. We only need to uh, animate the crop parameter here. Do the same thing with the last keyframe. And now again, of course, at the first keyframe, we don't want to see any of uh, the red bar because nothing has been played as of yet. So let's just crop the right of the play bar until it is exactly below our little dot here. And now go to the last keyframe. And here as well, we need to animate 
the the right crop so it just finishes the animation something like this we don't need to be incredibly exact here because a little dot here will cover up minor mistakes but to be as exact as it can be so this is our play bar let's quickly look at it uh, looks nice it just shows the progress from beginning to the end oh and one thing that is incredibly important is uh, make sure that all your keyframes here are set to linear otherwise you will uh, have the animation start slowly then build up in speed and again end slowly which doesn't make sense for progress bar which is animated linearly so be sure to have this set to linear also be sure to have this one set to elastic otherwise our trimming and changing the speed of the animation will not work but this should be a set to elastic by default but by default this should be set to spline so make sure you set it to linear okay last thing we need to do is change the animation of or you know animate the progress button and here we'll of course change the position parameter so let's add a keyframe at the beginning a keyframe at the end the first keyframe is of course exactly right because we wanted to start at the, the beginning which is uh, much of a surprise and the last keyframe of course it should be at the end of the line so so let's just position this one right and uh, we're pretty much done if we look at the old animation now we'll see it looks exactly the way it should and because the animation is elastic the keyframes are elastic what you're able to do is change the length of your titles and it will still work like a charm which is awesome if you have different length clips that you want to use the same progress bar for Now, of course, what you want to do is fade this play bar in and out at the beginning and the end. So just make sure they have all three tracks selected and hit the fade effect button that you have either in your command palette or map to your keyboard. I have it uh, mapped to shift quick transition, which, you know, I think makes a lot of sense. And we'll ask you fade up and fade down and you say 10 frames or whatever transition you want. And it will change the keyframes the opacity keyframes for all three titles and ta-da there it works just fantastically all right that's it thank you for watching this episode of uh, the avid screencast i hope you liked it if you didn't just uh, write me an email but if you did write me one as well uh, and don't forget to go ahead and uh, subscribe to the podcast at avidscreencast.com. We can also watch past episodes and uh, comment uh, on the website or drop me a line at mail at avidscreencast.com if you have any questions or suggestions or stuff you want to tell me, like whatever stuff that happens in your family. <laughs> well, maybe not that. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash avidscreencast, where I'm obviously not signed in. And on Facebook, facebook.com slash avidscreencast. And if you'd like to see what kinds of things I do in my day job, check out editguy.de, where I promote myself. All right, again, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.